All right, what I've never mentioned before is that I have been personally in the exact same situation that we are all in collectively now. And I did what the majority of the American public is doing at the moment. I kept my mouth shut and I watched things get worse and deteriorate to the point where all was lost. And it ain't never coming back. But that's where the parallel ends. Because they have to answer to somebody else for the things that they've done. It isn't that they have to answer to me. The fact that honor and loyalty has been thrown aside along the way isn't my problem. They have to answer to that. To somebody else who by the way might not be so forgiving given the personal experiences of my life I don't necessarily believe in love I believe in personal responsibility I believe in truth and honor and those who are willing to undermine it for their own purposes are not my friends nor my family in this case but I realized where all of this is heading and if people aren't willing to stand up and use their voices they're going to be just as much out in the cold as I am and regretting the fact that they didn't use the tools available to them while they were still available. Jerry Nadler and the Democrat Party are committing treason against this country. And you can kick me out, but he's the one committing crimes. You are Jerry Nadler. You're the one committing treason. America's done with this. America's sick of the treason committed by the Democrat Party. We're not going to sit here and watch you run an impeachment scam and remove our vote. We voted for Donald Trump, and they're simply removing him because they don't like him. Americans are sick of your impeachment scam. They're sick of the Democrat treason. We know who committed the crimes, and it wasn't Trump. Trump is innocent. That was Owen Shorier, an InfoWars reporter and anchor man, spitting some truth, unafraid of the consequences because he was willing to use the tools available while they were still available. If I've said it once, I've said it a thousand times on this channel. If we, the American people, are just willing to sit there and let this happen, we deserve what we get. And by doing so, we enable the people who are under who are trying to undermine our democracy to accomplish their mission we need more people like owen schroyer who is willing to stand up and say what needs to be said and not be concerned about the consequences because by not doing so we invite being out in the cold. We invite losing everything that we say we love and care about. How do I know this to be true? Because it's happened to me. And believe me, ladies and gentlemen, when it's gone, it's gone. And it ain't coming back. <laughs>